Sonne geht an, Pet. Hi, I'm Molly Bernard from Younger, and this is my pup, Henry. Henry has been in my life for four years, almost five, and they've been the best years of my life. Good boy. How are we gonna go outside? I know people love their pets, but we have a very intimate relationship. I think of him more as my best friend, my companion, he's like my everything. Yeah, you're such a good guy. He rides the subway, he goes on planes, trains, he goes everywhere with me. We go to therapy together. <laughs> we go to dinner parties together. When I'm away, like from home, I think about texting Henry. Like I always grab my phone as if to text Henry because I think of him as a person. <laughs> and um, then I realize that I'm trying to text my dog and that's not actually possible. I adopted Henry six months after graduating from Yale and he provided so much structure potty training him, kind of obedience training him, was difficult and also one of the most joyful experiences because it's a bonding experience between the owner and the pet. My co-star is out in Foster, had an art show and included a portrait of Henry and it's now on my wall. For a while it was the only art up in my house, I didn't have anything else up, it was just Henry. Our set is the doggest of dog sets in all of Hollywood. Like, it's a dog crazy set. We love our dogs. It is such a joy to bring your dog to work. Dogs make everything better. It lights up everyone's face. It's a great way to start the day. And living in New York, you know, everyone keeps their distance. And so people stop and they're like, oh my God, that's such a cute dog. Some girl stopped me last week and she was like, what kind of dog is that? And then she was like, oh my God, you're on Younger. <laughs> you're so lucky, your dog is so cute. Like aggressively yelling at me about how cute Henry was. And I was like, yes, I know, I know, I know, thank you. Thank you. In my mind, when I'm away and Henry's like in his crate or in his bed and I'm, I'm gone, he's reading The New Yorker, he's writing an op-ed, he's making dinner reservations at Sardi's after the theater. And <laughs> he's just like a very chic kind of older gay man is definitely Henry. And, or that's, that's Henri, kind of, you know, he's bilingual, very, very sophisticated. But sometimes he's really scrappy, and he like, you know, he ate my night guard last week. Which is my fault, I left it out, and I was like, okay. You ate it, buddy, and he was like, yeah, it's $500, good luck. Good luck getting a new one, babe. Down, roll over. Good boy. Yes. Do you wanna sit? You wanna give a paw? Thank you. The best trick Henry can do, honestly, is that when I'm truly weeping and crying, he puts his paws up here and licks my face until it's dry, until I've fully cried out. I never understood that man's best friend until Henry, and I mean, I think I took it a few, several steps farther. He is my, like, soulmate. Henry is the deepest companion I'll ever know. And I really feel like having an animal in your life, it's a very different connection than a person. It's, it's a really different and intense kind of unconditional love. That's not a kid, that's, that's not a lover, you know, or a friend, it's like, he's my spirit. I hope that I make Henry happy, you know, cause he makes me so happy. Um, I hope I bring him joy. What kind of pop?